Welcome to Pitch Day. Thanks for coming out to Pitch Day for 100K. It's a great day to pitch. Everybody knows this is my favorite day of the fortnight. It's on social media, so it must be true. Today, we're going to hear from Sandeep at Foodies. So really excited to, to hear about those two companies uh, and from these two founders. Uh, Startup ND is Nevada's statewide nonprofit, Startup Accelerator and Incubator. We operate five, count them five, programs for founders and four investment funds or syndicates. Um, our nonprofit is supported by government grants and corporate sponsors in the short term and over the long term by our accelerator companies who pledge a small amount of their stock and our investors who donate 5% of their profits to the nonprofit. So we run Pitch Day for 100K every other Wednesday and companies pitch for the Q&A, which comes after their pitches, and entry into our accelerator program. That comes with an investment from Fund NV, our, our pre-seed fund, and it's added to by our investor syndicate. Uh, we've averaged about $237,000 per investment, and that gets matched, whatever the total amount is, gets matched by Nevada's SSBCI program. And we've completed 29 transactions, investing in 22 different companies uh, since we started doing this investing in early 2021. Uh, and we have two more in process right now. So that account will soon tick up to 31 transactions and 24 companies. So our investments range from $50,000 on the low end to $1.8 million on the high end. And now for the legal disclaimer. Uh, the founders pitching today are pitching to our SEC compliant venture capital fund and our accredited investor syndicate. Now we invite the whole community to attend uh, for educational purposes, kind of like watching Shark Tank, uh, and the educational component is critical uh, to our eco economic development mission in Nevada. So everybody's in, invited. But the pitches, the pitches today are not a general solicitation for investment. Uh, for information on, on entrepreneur and accredited investor programs and rules uh, and why I have to do this disclaimer, uh, just visit our website at startupnv.org. Uh, our nonprofit work would not be possible without the financial help from grants and sponsors like the City of Las Vegas, Clark County, GoEd, the EDA, and KPMG. Thank you very much for your support. A couple other announcements before we get going. Our Incubate Vegas program starts tonight, uh, right there in, uh, in our office in Las Vegas. So, uh, so we're pretty excited for the second cohort of Incubate Vegas getting started. So if you're interested in that, just jump on our website. Um, you'll find out all about the 10-week program that we have going on in Vegas. Second. Mobile World Congress is coming to Las Vegas next week. So if you are interested in startups in the mobile world, again, just, just you can visit our any of our social media channels, uh, particularly on LinkedIn. We have free tickets for people that want to attend Mobile World Congress and visit us. We'll be in the startup area uh, of that um, with, our, uh, with our Startup Vegas brand on the first day and our Startup NV brand. On the final day of the conference, it's a pretty cool conference. Come out if you can. And then finally, Reno Startup Week is also next week. It's going to be a busy week next week. So if you're in northern Nevada, again, just go out there and Google Reno Startup Week. You will find all sorts of information, some of it on our website, some of it on the special website they've got set up for Reno Startup Week. Lots of events, uh, lots of educational stuff, lots of social events and things that are all occurring throughout the week all over northern Nevada next week. With that in mind, Sandeep, you are up first. Hello, all. I'm Sandeep from Foodies. Thank you, Startup Envy, for uh, providing this platform to pitch for Foodies. The problem. The problem is I suck at cooking. Yes, that's right. Back in India, my mom is a great chef. As a result, I did not learn cooking. Once I came out of my home, I'm unable to cook for myself. Whenever I cook, the food used to be salty or burnt. If I manage to cook well, I won't be able to cook the same way again next time. As a result, I used to order in, dine out, such activities. Uh, and because of this, I got serious health issues. I tried all cooking appliances like Instapot, sous vide, and all those things. But none of them solved my problem. I saw the same problem in my friends and peers. Actually, on average, people in USA spend $3,000 per year eating out. 
which leads to obesity and other health issues. People want to eat healthy homemade meals, but they don't have time or skill. On average, people spend two hours per day to cook and clean at home. Currently, there is no appliance in the market which can heat, stir, and dispense food autonomously, which is a missing opportunity in the market. And I believe Foodies is a solution for this problem. Foodies is an automatic cooking appliance which can dispense, stir, heat the ingredients automatically and prepares food for you. Using foodies is very easy. It's as easy as one, two, three. If you see the flow chart, user will select the recipe from our foodies application and he will feed all the ingredients in the foodies as per the instruction in the recipe. And he will hit the start button. Then now foodies will automatically dispense the ingredients. It will heat the ingredients and it will stir the ingredients. Once the food is ready, it will give the notification to the user so user can enjoy the meal. Let's see the foodies in action. So this is our prototype at this point and we have already cooked more than 50 recipes. This is our 37th prototype. And if you see, I'm putting all the ingredients as per the application and it is ready, I'll hit the start button and it will dispense ingredients on timely manner. And it is continuously stirring inside again on a timely basis. Once food is ready, it will give notification to the user. Uh, with foodies, no, it is not limited to just one cuisine. You can cook worldwide cuisines. You can cook Indian recipes, Chinese, Thai, American, uh, Mexican, and so on and so on. You will see step-by-step -step, uh, preparation instruction on our application. Obviously, our foodies is controlled by mobile app and it is very easy to clean and it is a dishwasher friendly product. It will save a lot of time for the users and it can cook up to four adults. My favorite features with foodies, you can record, repeat and share your own recipe. And coming to the market size, foodies is a disrupting technology. It will change the way people cook in the future. And smart cooking appliance market is a very big market in that we are taking instant part as our reference. Our TAM, Total available market is $4.7 billion, which is instant pot worldwide market as per 2022. And our SAM is $2.5 billion, which is online sales of Instapot. And we believe foodies can make $25 million market share by 2028. Coming to the competition. If you see the chart, you can see there are four types of competition available in the market. First one, door delivery, such as Uber Eats, DoorDash. These services are quick, but they are unhealthy, expensive, and not customizable. Second comes meal kit service. Meal kit service are healthy, but they are not customizable, not easy to use or ready to eat. You need to cook the food by yourself. And third, which is popular, which is electric cookers such as Instapot. These cookers are very good cooking few meals, but most of the cooking requires a certain pattern of dispensing ingredients, stirring and heating, which is not done by the electric cookers. And fourth one, we have our direct competitors, which is Els Lab Company product, Oliver from Canada and Nimble from India. These products are expensive and not available in the market. We believe we have an edge over our competitors because our patent design will decrease the cost of our product. And we are able to manufacture our product for $60, which is not possible by our competitors. We also want to be the first people in the market, which will give us an edge to learn about customers and stay ahead of the competition. Coming to foodies, foodies is easy to use. Uh, you can cook healthy food and uh, you can customize your food and it is completely automated cooking appliance and we are protected by patent. Business model, 
Coming to our business model, currently we are going with product-based model where we are selling puddies directly to the user. Our cost of goods sold is between $199 to $299. Our total cost of manufacturing is $60. We are selling that thing currently online and we are planning to do it so. In 2026, we want to introduce subscription model where we want to sell our premium recipes for $98 per year on our hoodies application. We have five phases. In phase one, we want to test our product and we want to create all the tools and do marketing and pre-sales, which we are doing right now. In phase two, we want to obtain the necessary certifications, launch on Amazon and sell 2000 units. In phase three, we want to expand our sales channel through Walmart and other places and also launch our premium recipe. In our last phase, we want to expand our sales channel worldwide. Coming to traction, we have three major traction. We already have made $22,000 on crowdfunding platform. And there are many people who are ready to buy our product once it is available on Amazon. We are also daily posting our cooking videos on YouTube channel and social media. You can simply type cook with foodies on YouTube. You will see our videos and we are getting great positive response from people that that is really good positive traction which we are getting. And finally, third major one, our manufacturer was so impressed with our product. They are purchasing our Chena's market selling rights from foodies in exchange of 50% discounts on tooling cost. And our team, it's me, I'm Sandeep. I'm a master in electrical engineering and robotics. I have 10 years of experience in electronics and making products. We also have designed a ventilator in pandemic uh, COVID-19 and give it to government. My mentor, Brian, he is a guru of manufacturing. He has 30 years of experience. He have IP, uh, uh, he's expert in IP and law. He's working with a manufacturing company from last seven years. He's in China from 10 years. And uh, with them, we are currently working. So it's none other than Jeff, who is our manufacturing partner who have 20 plus years experience in home appliance industry. Finally, our ask, we are asking 500,000 in funding on $4 million post money safe, in which $250,000 is used for tooling cost and making 200 unit manufactured and ship it to USA. $125,000 we will be using on sales, marketing and making premium recipe. 50,000 we will be using for employees and working capital. And rest we will be using on our software, which is white label software. As a founder, I invested $70,000 and, and we worked almost one and a half year full time. And our runway will be 15 months with this fund. And our next milestones are selling 2000 units and implementing a subscription model. It is provisional patent protected. And uh, Yes, uh, thank you so much team for giving this opportunity. This is my email ID and this is my phone number. This is our social handle uh, uh, user ID. You can reach out to us and uh, you can send email about anything. Thank you. Um, and thanks to everybody who came to see us and just a couple of program notes as we get wrapped up. Um, investors, if you're curious about this whole startup investing thing, uh, we have four different opportunities uh, for experienced and beginner in accredited investors. Our pre-seed fund, Fund MD, that makes the investments in companies like the ones presenting today. Um, our annual conference fund, Angel MD, which is a hands-on sort of class educational fund where we do make an actual investment. And it's also kind of cool if you're new to town and you want to meet some other investors, um, Angel MD is a good place to start. We have our seed fund, the 1864 fund that invests larger amounts in more mature companies, seed, seed companies that have at least half a million dollars a year in revenue before we'll consider them. Um, and then finally, out of all of the people in all of these funds, we create an investor syndicate. The, numbers, uh, the number in that number is about 200 people right now. So, uh, so we have uh, four different ways for investors in the community to get involved with us. Just check us out at startupmd.org. There's places where you can express interest and schedule some time with us. 
So find out about all these things and see if it's if it's something that's up your alley. Uh, we're going to see you back here in two weeks from today. Uh, so two new Nevada-based startups will be pitching to us then. So until then, um, take care of yourself and if you can, someone else too. Have a good couple of weeks.